Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah Yeah, I can't do the whole song today. It's Monday morning and it's early and it's Monday morning and early. So you do the rest of the song in your head and we're all good. And yay! Hi, I'm Mel from What Values Little Hook with Melanie. And it's Things We're Making Thursday. And it's Monday morning, like I said. So I'm behind as always, or I'm early if you want to look at it that way. But yeah, we all we all know. We all know it's not a secret. So um July. Let's just jump on it. Because by now most people know what things we're making Thursday is. I will probably still go over it at some point during this video. But this month's theme is a Megurumi, and yes, it took me months and months, maybe even a year, to get to be able to say that word right. A Megurumi. And it just means stuffies. Stuffed animals. Squishables. I've got them all over my room. And I was like, oh, I don't have that many. Yeah, I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... It's a pillow, but it counts. Eight, uh, nine. My room's not that big. So nine. And my room's not that big. Mm -hmm. And I'm a grown woman. And that's after I pared it down. And then they start, oop, ten. Yep. We'll do an object find game when my room's clean completely clean. It's getting there and you can find the stuffies. It'd be a big roomy. But yes. So um things for making Thursday. I am making some stuffies for some people. This one is almost done. This was a Timu kit. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> but it was fun to decipher. Yes, there will be crinkles. So it came in this bag and it came with everything. Eyes, but they're flat back eyes. And I'm like, this is obviously for a child. It came with a glue stick too. So obviously they're like, oh, you have a hot glue gun. Here's a glue stick for the eyes. Um, no, no, I will not be, um, hot gluing flat backs. This is what it is. And I had to get it. Had to get it because my cousin is having her second baby. Her first baby is only turn it, just turned three. And my cousin loves cows. Loves, loves, loves cows. And I thought this is for her older daughter give the baby bottle to because it comes with a baby bottle while mommy is giving the baby bottle to the new baby how sweet is that so but it also comes with a gift box to gift the finished amigurumi in a card um it came with the hook as you can see, all the stuffing, which is super silky soft. I've never felt soft stuffing that soft. Um, the yarn, these little tiny skeins of yarn. It's kind of splitty. Um, feels like a polyester acrylic blend. Um, but it's kind of twisted in a way that splits very loosely. But plenty of it, like way extra. I finished crocheting, and that's how much black is extra. Um, there's a lot of white extra. I can make like another, I mean, tons of brown, which came undone. But like, here's my little, I just have to assemble. 
here's my little cow head with like where to put the ears and where to put the eyes. Um, this little, hold on. This little muzzle. Sorry. And that's the right side out. So it's a little muzzle. And it doesn't have a nose. Not even in the picture. So I'm I'm thinking I have some safety noses. And I'm thinking of putting a safety nose on or just embroidering a nose. Now, people have suggested, and I've never done this, gluing as well as using the safety eyes. Hot gluing the safety eye as well as using the back. Now, see, what I do with the safety eyes is I test the, the limit of my strength against the back of the eye in every direction. If it even budges, I put a new back on until it doesn't even wiggle. Um, and I, as my, as Schnook says, mel strong like ox. So if I can't move it, a kid can't move it. Um, but I kind of like the idea of gluing it as well as, um, as the back. So I will probably do that. And I put the mouth over by the ear, but that, I'm not, I, I do sew stuff on wrong, but I wouldn't do it that wrong. And then here's its itty bitty body with the little feet. So you, that's so cute. I just have to crochet the collar yet because it says it doesn't have a number of chains to make. It just says crochet to fit around neck and since it's not attached yet I don't know, know how big the neck is. So that is one Omega Rumi I have for things we'll make on Thursday. And then I have started another one which is knit and this is for a friend who asked me to make it for her. She does not knit and she really wanted it. It is a premier pattern. It's the premier chenille bloom panda. That's not the right title, but it will be linked down below. And I'll probably put the correct title of the pattern up here. Um, now, it called for eight millimeter needles. There were holes and it's a megarumi and you're gonna stuff it. And I could fit my finger, this finger, my thumb through the holes and I am not a loose knitter. Um, when I started knitting, I knit so tight that I couldn't get the needles through the stitches. But even now I'm not a loose knitter. I'm just a good, you know, can knit my stitches average knitter. So I then went down a size of needles, still very big holes. I am now on a six millimeter needle and I mean there are still if you pull it apart there are small holes that I can get the tip of my finger through but I'm not going to overstuff it. I was going to go down to 5.5 millimeter needles but my 5.5s are in use right now. A whole bunch of them are in use and I was like in dire need of 5.5 millimeter needles. So I found these six just sitting around and I said, we'll try. Now, someone asked me, does this shed? I think it was Dawn Yarndall. Um, or it might have been Mishi. It was Mishi, I think. She asked, because this is the Bloom Chenille yarn, Premier Bloom Chenille. And it's new to me. I didn't even know they had a Bloom Chenille. But it's what was called for in the pattern, and my friend really wanted me to make it exactly like the pattern, just in whatever colors. So I'm surprising her. So you know who you are. Don't look. Um, she doesn't know what colors I picked. Um, but it, when you frog it, big chunks of it will come out. And you get bare spots on the string. Let me show you my starting 
string. See that? So I had to cut off most of what I frogged. And I didn't like that. Now I know a lot of chenilles will do that. A lot of velvet yarns and chenilles. I, I was not happy because I, I, what I did when I was first doing that, because I was doing this on the live, um, I was knitting it on a live and then realized I was getting holes. Um, I, I ran my hand up and down it and, and it wasn't shedding. And I was like, oh, it doesn't shed. Yeah, I've got a different review now that I've worked with it a little. Now, as I'm knitting it, it is making a lovely fabric. And it's not shedding as I play with it. Once it's knit up, it seems okay. I would not suggest ever throwing this in the washer or dryer. But um, I will insert a picture of what the panda is supposed to look like. Now, this panda looked like a dog at first to me. I thought it was a dog until I saw the title. It doesn't have eye patches like a panda does. So I'm going to add eye patches. And it has its tongue sticking out, which is very cute. But I was like, is that a dog? No, it's a panda. Okay. We're going to make it a little more panda like. But, um, so we have a contributor picture for this week, and it comes from Angela. Um, so Angela, um, sent us, give me a second because I am never, ever, ever. ready. She sent us, I believe, a little itty bitty jellyfish and it is adorable. I think it's a jellyfish. Maybe it's an octopus, but it's adorable no matter what. We're going to put it right here. Now, if you ever, just look at that. Look at that face. It's so cute. It's so cute. Thank you, Angela. It's adorable. I think it's so cute. Tell me if it's a jelly or an octopus. Let me know. It's so cute. But, um, oh no, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. Maybe it's a ghost of a jelly or an octopus. I don't know. I love it anyway. Yeah. Learn to read the titles of your emails. Well, it's a ghost. I love it. I just love it. It's so cute. But, um, if any of you... All right, now we get into the nitty gritty. If you're a content creator and want to participate in things we're making Thursday, just put the hashtag TWMT. It's not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's things we're making Thursday. Don't get them confused. Though if you want to participate in things, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I am clogged up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm sure there's a hashtag for that, and I'm sure it's TMNT, but this one's TWMT, hashtag TWMT, it's going to be right up here. Um, if you're not a content creator and you want to participate, there are a few ways to do that, or if you're a content creator and don't want to make videos, also, um, you can join our Facebook group, which was created by Jenna don't like that hair there. Jenna from Jenna Stitches. And that will be linked down below in the description box. You just go there, answer, I think it's one or two questions. Very simple. And you're let in. And it's pretty easy ozy. You can share stash pictures, haul pictures, chat about crafts, chat about things we're making Thursday. And all the goodies. All the goodies. And then, um, if you, another way is what Angela did, which was contact me through email. Um, it's always in the description boxes of my videos and my lives. 
and then um, send me your picture. A little description is usually nice, but, you know, if you can't do that, that's fine. And I will put it in my video. And there are other um, participating content creators who will do the same. So just, you know, reach out. Um, what else? What else? Also, I will put a list of all the themes for the year. You can do whatever theme you want. You know, go back and do one from the past month. Work on one ahead of time. Anything like that. And, you know, just for the fun of it, this month I'm going to put all the patterns from last year, too, because that's fun. Sometimes people like to do that. So I'm going to link all the patterns from last year, too. Why not? And, oh, the theme song from the beginning was created by Jess from J-Hook Magic and her husband. And, yeah, that'll stick with you, too. So, uh, I will link the panda pattern, and I would not suggest the cow thing for anybody, but I will try to find the link for that kit if they're still selling it, and put that in the description box too, but the pattern was really written it wasn't written in regular crochet terms it was written in code and you had to decipher the code so unless you're an intermediate crocheter to advance have been crocheting for a while a good long while may the odds be ever in your favor yeah, I sat there and I went, what? Yeah, for a good long while. And I've been crocheting for 35 years. And I test patterns. And I was just like, what? So, but it's hit or miss with their kits, pretty much. I think AI wrote the pattern off of a normal crochet pattern. Like, why didn't they just do the normal crochet pattern? Why did they have to rewrite it? Ooh, maybe it was someone else's. I just thought of that. Ooh. Ooh. Did I get like a pirated... Ooh. I'm not happy about that now. I don't like that idea. Anyway, we're going to go before I get too into that my head about that. Hmm. Okay. Sour taste in my mouth. All right. Um. Yeah. Things we're making Thursday. Yeah. All right. Have a great uh, week. And I will see you on the next one. Shine bright, my friends. Like the stars you are.